going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamager here, welcoming you to another episode of The Saga Log. I'm taking these headphones off because why not? Hopefully, you guys are excited. Last episode was the Choose My Starter episode, and I knew it was going to be a hype episode. It was crazy, and it was amazing. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to this. Um, our starter choices were Kakuna, Sidra, and... Last but not least, Executor, not in any particular order. We're going to start out with who got last place. Unfortunately, everybody was like, oh, well, Executor is kind of a broken typing. Let's not pick that. So, Executor got last place with three votes. In second place, it was close. The difference was one vote. One vote made the difference in the Saga Log. The second place one with five votes went to Kakuna, which means... As do I said, I want to give you one of my water boys in order to start this saga lock right. Cedra is the very first starter. And of course, we're going to name this Joy because any water starter has to be named Joy. Because if it's not, then it's a sin. Okay, like it's a sin if you don't name a water type after Joy. Like, oh my god. Um, Tarant is actually going to get the Executor, which means you did start me off with a little bit of a Yikers. Um, luckily we did not have Pokeballs, so it doesn't matter what happens here, but it is a little bit of a Yikers starting with a Water type and your opponent having a Grass type, but you know, it's only normal Gen 1 situations. Um, so we'll find out what moves that we got. I'm actually really curious. It could be really good. It could be really bad. Um, it is going to be Bite, Bubble, Withdraw, and Swift. You know what? I'll take that. That's a decent early game moveset. I'm sure Cedric gets Rekaronis. Oh, <laughs> Cedric probably does get Rekaronis. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we got confused. This is how the song lock's gonna start. Our very first confusion, we get confused and hurt ourselves in confusion. Yep, that's how song lock starts, everyone. <laughs> Yay. And we got crit. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Oh, this is how Song Lock is gonna start. Oh my god. <laughs> what a terrible RNG start. Oh my god. If this is how Song Lock is gonna go the entire way through, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to handle this. Um, but we get to at least see what's on the routes. <laughs> what? That's like the worst starting RNG I think I've seen in my life, by the way. Um, let's see what's on Route 1. Hopefully we can get something cool on Route 1. That'd be amazing. And if we do get some good starting RNG, then that's good, obviously. Just starting RNG is important. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I hope that our starting, like, like, I don't even know what I want for the team. Like, a fire type would be great. I think that's kind of my, my number one. Okay, if we can get a fire type, that's great, because poison types are not good. Um, we do not want that. A poison type would not help us in the slightest. So yeah, like I said, hoping for a fire type, get our fire water grass course started. Um, that would be amazing. But how has your day been? Hopefully it's been a wonderful day. Let me know in the comment section below what you did today. If you did something cool, let me know. I would love to see it. Um, today I did some exams because obviously exams are like the, oh God, that's a good Pokemon. Exams are like the best. You get 100% on all my exams. Definitely makes me feel happy. Um, I should just run away from this. There's no reason to, to fight this. Um, 100% on all my exams, definitely a good thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody, like I said, had an amazing day as well. Um, let's see, I don't even know what to do. Okay, Pokemon Center, we have to buy Pokeballs, right? We don't start with the game. This game doesn't just hand you Pokeballs. I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, we're going to get one, two, three, four, four encounters today. So hopefully we can get a team of five going as you got Seedra on the layout right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um... But yeah, no, honestly, I am very nervous. I am very, like, I don't know how we're going to deal with it. <clears throat> but we're going to do whatever possible, right, to get this going. Because, honestly, if we can get a good start in Saga Log, that'd be great. I don't want to die, like, day, like, episode one. We don't want to have a death. Because um, that is very possible with, the seed, with our starter choices and what we kind of have uh, given to us. So, I'm, like I said, hoping we ought to be careful and cautious careful and cautious is super important right now that's like uh actually before we get pokeballs i want to get to level six and also kind of see what else is in the grass um we did learn we could run away from jolteon so that's actually good to learn i want to know how much damage it can do or what it has at its disposal uh thunder oh my god 
That probably one taps Joy. I would not be surprised. No, it does not. We live one. But that's still not good. <laughs> Being one tapped is just never a good thing. Um, so if we get a Jolteon on our as our encounter, we gotta run. Um, good to know. Good to know that we gotta run if we if we see Jolteon. Jolteon equals run, or else we're screwed. Um, we do have a max elixir, so that's helpful. Um, I'm definitely gonna I gotta train to level seven, I guess. Um, because level six won't. Because we have non-stab moves, so like. The encounter rates in this game are so much lower than in other games. I'm not used to it. Uh, but yeah, level 6, we're fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's Seedra here. Of course there's Seedra here. <laughs> so, Jolteon seems like a very high probability then. If that's the case. If Seedra's here, then yeah. Jolteon seems like a very high probability. And I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, Jolteon would not be a bad addition to the team. But it's scary to catch as a first... Give me that! Give me that! I need that now! That's what I need as my encounter. I need the mascot first encounter. If I get mascot first encounter, I would laugh so hard. It would be amazing. Okay. We might as well get Pokeballs, I guess, because Jotian seems like it's a mid-tier encounter, like one of the 10% ones, so... But yeah, this is definitely nerve-wracking. I don't know, like I said, I feel... It feels weird. Um, But... Yeah, and also, like I said, I'm trying to keep episodes at, like, 20 minutes, so we'll find out how far we can get. But I believe we can get all four of the episodes, or all four of the encounters in, like, the, that amount of time. It doesn't seem very impossible. Uh, but, yeah, so I got, like I said, I got 100% all of my IT exams, um, which is amazing because I have 100% in the class. I also have 100% in my communications class, so now I just got to hard focus my English class um, so that I can maintain a 4.0 or get a 4.0. Um, that's kind of the goal here. Do we have Pokeballs or no? That is important. Item. We have done. We do not have Pokeballs. So you have to buy them. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um, for anybody who's doing a Pokemon Let's Play, good to know that you have to buy them. You cannot just get them. Oh, Jotian. Uh, that's so scary. Okay. But again, at least we know it gives you a bunch of EXP. I feel like you could catch a Mon at that. Oh, nice crit. Good job, Joy. Um, good to know that we gotta avoid those now. <laughs> good to know that you gotta avoid those crits. Um, okay, what about Magikarp? I feel like I couldn't, I wouldn't oh, okay, Magikarp, but this is like, these, this is good damage ranging that we're doing early game. I don't think I'd kill a Magikarp with Joy. I would not. So getting a Magikarp would be lit. Um, but yeah, good damage ranging. Um, Joy's gonna be level seven. But even then... At level 7. Wow, that, five, that was literally 5 experience away. Jeez Louise. Um, but with damage ranging and damage calcing like that, good to know. So, we would probably kill a Jolteon now. Polyrath. Okay. So, there's some weird encounters here, not gonna lie. So, Seedra's the rare encounter. So, good to know we got a rare encounter as our starter. Um, and then we gotta go get some Pokeballs. I don't even know, like, with potions and stuff, too. Like, there's a lot that we have to manage. So, we have $3,000 that we have to deal with and manage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy 10. Oh, they didn't even have that functionality at that point. That's funny. I'm gonna go 10, 11, 12 and 2. No. Ten, ten, three, and one. That's how I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, can I not buy potions? Is potions not available? <gasps> potions aren't available. Holy Toledo! They did not even give. They didn't even let you start out with potions. <laughs> oh yikes! Okay. Not really worried about po uh, um. Wow. Okay, I didn't even realize they didn't let you start out with that. Should I sell my Max Elixir? How much does that give me? Zero dollars. Well, not selling it. <laughs> These, This game did not have very good ranges of prices or really much of anything. Jeez. Do I avoid my Route 1 encounter? <sighs> like, I actually have to play strategically, and it's a nice kind of change. I, I, I might as well see, and if it's a Jolteon, I might as well run away because we don't take a crit. Oh, it's a Pidgeot. Okay. 
Pidgeot's a very interesting encounter. I'm gonna go ahead and bite. Kind of see what it has, because I know it lives a bite. Wing attack. Uh, I feel like that does a lot. Oh, no, that does two damage. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just start throwing our Pokeballs. Item management is going to be the key to Generation 1. Item management is going to be a key. So this thing is going to actually be able to crit a lot, so we got to be careful of that. Game Boy Luke. Yes! Okay, what a start to Sogloth. We got a Pidgeot. This actually, I think, is how Ryan started his or Gen Race, which is hilarious. Nicknamed a Pidgeot. Um, we're going to nickname this Drake. And we're going to name this Drake. That seems like a great name for it. I actually really love that name for it. So Drake, the Pidgeot, is now on the team. And you know what? We didn't see a Pidgeot, which means it was the ultra rare encounter. And that's a really good encounter to get early game. We only wasted two Pokeballs. So what a good start. Um, Because now we have nine left, which, like I said, we have to be conservative. And, like, hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, but we're going to train everybody up uh, in the next episode to level, like, 10, 9, 9, 7, anywhere between 7 and 9. Because it's 15% uh, boosted in, as far, uh, in terms of um, levels. So we got to make sure that we're keeping up with that. Wow! That's an early game item. That's a good early game item. We'll take those. We'll take those. Okay. Our encounter for this route is a... That is Species Claws. Let's go. But I could catch it if I wanted to, but it is Species Claws, so... I run with... I run Species and Dupes, so... Which, it might be hard in Generation 1 to do that, but... I'm gonna try my best to do it. Oh. That's the fire type we wanted. Let's go. Good fire type. Good, good fire type. And I honestly think that if I, I should be able to like have a decent shot at catching it just without any like Pokeballs. Oh, okay. It's got a United Haze. Oh God, it's gotta be named Boomy. It ha it's gotta be, it's gotta be named Boomy. It's the United Haze. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit it with something. Um. stats 14 attack i think bite is worse than bubble beam so i'm gonna use that and hope that growlet doesn't die it does not that was a crit holy cow let's not get crits joy i appreciate that you are very very happy to get crits but that's a little scary we don't need that especially when we're catching boomy let me catch boomy he's got a united haze and everything we need to catch boomy Oh my god, it's Boomy though. Game Boy Luke. Ah, Boomy doesn't like Game Boy Luke confirmed. Um, come on. Boomy, love me. I know you love Dylan. I know you're gonna be a big brother, but like, come on. Boomy. Would Dylan really like you not cooperating? Okay, Boomy. You're not cooperating, and you're gonna have give me issues, Boomy. Boomy. Boomy, I love you. I want to pet you one day. Let me catch you. See? I need to be able to pet Boomy one day. That's what worked. <laughs> um, obviously, we're naming this Boomy because literally it's Boomy. Um, and honestly, this episode's almost over. That's insane. This episode should not be almost over. The fact that we're almost out of money too, though. Like, that, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, we're out of money almost. And we still have two other encounters that I would love to get and deal with. But we can't even... Actually, I could sell my Waterstone. Mm, Waterstone's such a good item, though. But do we do it? Do we do it for encounters? That's... Uh, that, that's like a risky play. That would be risky... That's only five Pokeballs, though. That's not... That doesn't... I, I'd rather... Honestly... Honestly... Ugh, I have to do encounter management. That That's more important, sadly. I could have gotten, like, three more Pokeballs if I... Or, like, two more if I didn't buy the Burn Heal, but...
I want to see what the uh, catching Pokemon is. Um, what is he going to catch? Hopefully something not... Really. This man's gonna out here gonna catch an Aerodactyl. Really? Really, dude? You're gonna catch an Aerodactyl just instantaneously. Can you give me some Pokeballs? I would really love it if you gave me, like, five more Pokeballs. Because I literally, like, need them. Like, super badly. Nope. You're not gonna give me them because you're mean. You're a mean boy. You don't give people Pokeballs, so therefore you're mean. Um... I don't even know. Like, I'm so, like... Ooh. I've got Boomy. Boomy's great. I would love a Firestone for some point. For some point for Boomy. I need to check what Boomy has, but oh, Dodrio. Okay, I am actually gonna pass up on Dodrio. I am gonna actually actively pass up on Dodrio because I already have a Pidgeot, so there's no reason for having a Dodrio. Uh, my Pidgeot already has like the best flying type move in the game, so might as well get the experience for joy. Um, oh, that was so hard. So, like, Dodrio's a good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I love Dodrio. And Dodrio was actually can wreck lives in Generation 1. But I only have two Pokeballs to work with. And if I only have two Pokeballs to work with, why waste them on a Dodrio when you already have a better version of that? Uh, what do I do? I'm going to sell the Waterstone. I, I know I made a big argument about why I shouldn't sell it. But it's so early game, like, there's really, is there a point in saving the Waterstone? Like, I don't see the biggest point. Watch, it's going to bite me in the butt when I just encounter a Staryu or a Staryu next. But if I do encounter a Staryu next, I'm going to be pissed. But to be fair, our team is decent enough that I could have kept it. Um, I feel like, you know, having a fire and a water type it's going to be big. I know I'm neglecting Pidgeotto, but Pidgeotto is going to be big in other situations too because it deals with ice typing. It deals with like, but the only ice typings uh, have Dugong implemented. So like if I can get a grass type like a Bulbasaur or a Venusaur or an Ivysaur, that'd be great. Like I th that would be great. But um, I don't know if I can even get that. But this is the end of the episode no matter what, which is crazy to me because it doesn't feel like the end of an episode, but we are almost there. So Whatever happens in this section happens, and we just got to deal with it. Um, I might as well... Is there an item going this way? I don't think there is. I do not think there is. There is not. So let's go the way to get an item. Um, well, one, there's an item behind the tree. Let me go get that if I can. Nope. Not even not even possible. Speaking of Dugong... <laughs> we literally were just talking about you. Because I love you. And you're one of the only ice types that can counter Dragonite. Yes! Okay, that's actually amazing. Literally one of the only ice types that can counter a Dragonite. And we got it. Um, and you have Aurora Beam. Let's go. I might have... I actually might have lucked out by buying those Pokeballs. I may have lucked out hardcore selling that Waterstone. I hope I did at least. Because I really, really need this thing on the team. It's an ice type. It deals the Dragonite immediately uh and it literally does what i need it to do and i can now i can bite and you're fine you're not dying to that joy really 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 joy really that was our one way of handling ah oh, joy are, I'm like, okay, we got a way to handle this now. And Joy's like, yeah, no. How about, how about, how about no? How about you don't get a way to handle that? That's $4,900. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bruh. Wow, that's a way to end the first episode of Song Lock. We had some trials, we had some tribulations. In the next episode, we're going to be training all our moms. Well, first, we're going to train all our moms to level 8 or 9. Um, I'm thinking 9 we're training everybody up to. Um, and then we're going to go take on the first gym leader in this game already, which is insane to think about. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all. Peace.